It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today, it's Monday, August 5th, 2024. Number one, all signs point to Vice President Kamala Harris moving into the final stage of selecting a vice presidential running mate. Those reported in the running include Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg. The vice president had no public events scheduled over the weekend, which observers believe allowed her to wrap up her search for her running mate in her historic race for President of the United States. Number two, Tropical Storm Debbie strengthened Sunday night to a Category 1 hurricane. The storm's maximum sustained winds increased to 75 miles an hour at 11 p.m. Debbie is set to bring flooding rain, damaging winds, and feet of storm surge to the Big Bend region of Florida before moving inland. By midweek, the storm is expected to dump nearly two feet of rain on parts of Georgia and South Carolina. Number three, actress Erica Ash died last week after a years-long battle with cancer. The 46-year-old excelled in comedic and dramatic roles. When she appeared at a guest on Jamel Hill's Unbothered podcast in 2020, Erica Ash talked candidly about battling breast cancer for years. Her mom, Diane Ash, wrote, after a long and courageous battle with cancer, she transitioned peacefully, surrounded by her loved ones. Number four, As reported in July in the What You Need to Know newsletter, Devontae Mitchell died June 30th after security guards at a Milwaukee hotel pinned him to the ground. Autopsy reports from the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office were released August 2nd, and Mitchell's death has been ruled a homicide. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who represents the family, released a statement that said the autopsy findings demand immediate charges against the security guards involved. Number five, it's Ministry Monday, everyone. Now, in Christianity, Alpha and Omega are the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet and are used in biblical context to show that God encompasses all things from beginning to end and everything in between. God's role as the Alpha and Omega is not just a timeline. It's also a reflection of our faith. Our faith starts with him and our faith ends with him. God will be with us from the time we are born until the day we die. And if we live right, we get to be with him throughout eternity. Read more about the Alpha and the Omega in today's Ministry Monday. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. In dreaming, we find the courage to pursue our passions and take risks that can lead to personal growth and fulfillment. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with social justice contributor Coy Malone and comedian Alton Sterling as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association and Black Health Matters. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.